Hello everybody and welcome back to Getting Wrecked and our general. This train will be uh, the key for our success. If he makes money we will be happy, if he doesn't we will be unhappy. But as a matter of fact, the only thing I will do now is to hope that he will make money so we can repay our debt. And the reason why I want to do that is because even with this train, which is <laughs> twice as good as the first train, it's not going to be good enough for expanding. So I don't want to borrow more money in order to just build more of these. Um, However, what I will do is that I will try to pay back the loan if possible until we get the next tier of trains, which is really, really late. That's like in 30 years or something, we will get the next, the next train. I mean, I could take a loan and build something else. I mean, our setup here it feels like the music is really, really loud. No, I guess not. But anyways, uh, I can't really make any, any lines that makes money, uh, enough money for it to like merit uh, additional loans. Sure, we have a lot of oil here waiting, but yeah, we should expand on him a little bit more. I will go for a couple of more of these wagons because of uh, we are not fulfilling the fuel requirements just yet. So we'll try to have this train fulfill the fuel requirements and then I will just wait. This was kind of a mistake that I didn't upgrade the uh, upgrade it this time around, but we should be fine if we have it go one extra time without additional wagons. I think I will add like four maybe. Because we <laughs> increased the cost quite a lot when we upgraded it with a new uh, locomotive and more wagons. Uh, but the income didn't really increase too much. I mean, uh, our other train was half as strong and it could pull at least six cars. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on this one. So we need at least three more. I think I would add four though. So, but anyways, when we have that set up, I will just speed forward until we have a new train to build. Um, well, not the next train, but the train after that. That will be. The Mogul, I think it's called. I mean, we are... this is, looks pretty good. But it can be better. But uh, still, these trains are really, really bad. <laughs> I don't know the income difference for playing on... Normal, but if we played on normal, this... I think this line would be pretty, pretty okay. Especially since you will have cheaper, uh, you'll have a cheaper loan, which would be pretty good. Let's see. Send you out with. How many was that? Was that 12? Yeah, 12. 
I think we could add one more, but I want to do it the next year, so I don't pay rent or interest one extra year. Now it's almost like like a modern train. Maybe not, but but the thing is, if you check out these wagons. Uh, they can make 80 kilometers an hour. So any locomotive that's <laughs> not reaching 80 kilometers an hour is a waste, more or less. And these are only half, half that speed. So me no likey. But anyways, I will fast forward for you, and I will see you in like. 20 years or something. <laughs> Look at this guys. 500k. Boom! Our first repayment. Yep. Let's just hope that the money keeps on rolling in. Uh, so we have one more. No, two more. 14 uh, wagons on this train. And as you can see. It uh, doesn't really like this uphill, steep uphill, but it seems to be fine here, but there is some kind of uphill in the beginning. But anyways, uh, we will have to wait a little bit more, I will just keep on repaying my loan and try to save as much, much money as possible until the next train. Alright, so 1871 and we got a new train! 280 Baldwin Class 56. Alright. Now, I guess you could upgrade to that one. If we compare them, I mean, it's 15 kilometers an hour quicker. That's for like one third quicker. And it's twice as powerful. So it could pull twice the load at a decent speed. However, I don't think it's worth it to take or use that one. But uh, just as a reminder, like I said in the previous episode, I checked the naming convention here. So 280 means that we have two unpowered wheels in the front here. Then we have eight wheels that's in the middle that drives the train. And then we have zero trailing wheels behind. So I think that's really cool. Because that's something I wondered quite quite a long time. I remember like in... I wonder if it was Railroad Tycoon? It must have been that game. I think it was. I think you could build like this one or something that was... something like 260 or something. And I was... I had such a hard time to understand the numbering. At the same time, I don't mean just uh, take your average car and the model number can be really strange. Like, I think that Volvo in uh, previous years they had like uh, three numbers in the model, like 240 or something like that where the first number two uh, that's 240 the first two was like uh, the model serial serial number two and the four was the number of cylinders or something like that and then the zero in the end was like how many doors or something so if it was a 
station wagon, it had a 5 in the end instead of a 0. So, I, I can't remember, it's so, so strange. Anyways, uh, let's continue on with this one. Um, yeah, 3.2 million loan. That was what I had previously when I set up this line. And I think I had the cheapest train. The cheapest train with maybe three of these or two tank wagons. So we have actually made quite a lot of money. But there are plenty more to to get. And um, let's build a horse cart now, never mind. But uh, I will have to take loans later on. I have some ideas what the next step will be. Yeah, I have, but they will be pricey. Indeed. But well, anyways, I will fast forward until we have uh, the next tier of trains. So, let's. Uh, Slow things down for a bit here. So we are in 1880 and our loans are slowly getting paid back and I just wanted to say that it's kind of important to notice how much the running costs increase every single year. Not sure why it costs or why the increase is different every year but as you can see it's done like 10k between these two years and then it's like 3k the next year but this really adds up in the long run if you see uh, the train I wonder if actually um, if you watch the line can we see further back nope it's the same amount of time but I think we upgraded the train in 58 I guess we added some more wagons here, but uh, it's gone from like a little bit over 5k up to what's now 600, so it's like 100k extra each year, and that's a good reason why I went with this slow ass train in the beginning. And then I replaced it eight years later with this one because this one has 30 years lifespan and the tank wagons have 40 years lifespan. So in eight years the general will be old and in 10 years the tank car will be old. So they are very fit for being replaced right now. Hmm, did I just miss? Are able to pay back before December? Oh well. And uh, every time we pay back the month or the month, pay back the loan, we will save uh, 12 and a half k investment each year. So it's a really nice way of lowering the cost is to repay the loan. Uh, Let's talk through what I'm thinking about the next step here. So the next train we will build will be able to make 75 kilometers an hour. So it's almost twice as fast as this train. And uh, that will really make it so we have almost 100% or we will have 100% fulfillment of the fuel requirements in Colorado. So I think we will need to make Colorado uh, grow a little bit, especially the industrial area. So I'm thinking, let's pay one more, uh, is that I will connect a passenger line with Colorado. So either we go for Chattanooga here, since we have a train track all the way up here, and it's the height difference is not too bad. I 
it's a pretty small city though, 183. That might help Colorado to grow. Another thing we could do is that we could actually spend some more money, but we could expand this train track. Try to make some kind of uh, pass here. I don't like the height differences here. But try to sneak in over here and maybe go for Wacko. It's a larger city, that's one thing. It's further away. I'm not sure how long people will travel in order to go to a job or to shop, but hopefully they will go that far at least. That would be a pretty good income. It would cost us quite a lot to build that train track though. The reason why I want to go for Wacko is because down here in St. Louis we have a forest, alright? So if we connect Wacko with a passenger service going down to Colorado, we will have a train track running over here. Then we could just expand it down to this forest and bring lumber all the way to this sawmill. Then we could have this sawmill produce planks that goes back with the same train down to this machine factory. And here it will produce tools. So we produce tools and then I guess we bring the tools back. We will have to have a separate train for this though, which is a bit bad, but... And bring the tools to Colorado Springs. That will, however, require that we make another um, freight station, because this one will not cover any, cover any the commercial districts. Now I'm thinking a passenger station here. I'm not sure how to oh, how to make a station for uh, freight but maybe like something like this. So we have freight, passengers freight and freight down here as well. Because I want to have Colorado grow so we can provide more fuel since that's what we are making money from right now. So that's my plan going forward, but we need better trains to do that. And I would have to borrow a lot of money to make that happen. I'm not sure how much it would cost to, to produce this uh, railway track. I mean, uh, the less... Uh, what should we say? Risky thing would be to connect Chattanooga with Colorado Springs. But the more rewarding should be to connect Wacko. Some passenger train going like that. Yeah. I believe in that. I think. <laughs> I think I believe in that. I'm not sure when we will get the mogul train, but it shouldn't be too long left. I think it will be before 1890 at least. But we'll see. Also, I hate the fact that it sounds so windy when you zoom out. You don't really hear it when it's music, but... Another thing I kind of like is the fact that it's so much smoke from these trains. When they are accelerating. When they reach maximum speed, I think the smoke is much less. Let's see if he reaches maximum speed soon. Oh, 45. So now it should kind of dissipate. Less. Okay, never mind. It's just as much smoke. Hmm. 
There are actually mods that will remove... Oh no, now it's... Now it's okay. A little bit of a difference. Let's see if it starts to... blow smoke ag again. Uh, quite, quite a difference. This is like how it usually looks in games. But, oh well. I will see you in a couple of years. One thing I would really like in this game is the fact that, I mean, I would like it to have a viable train in the beginning. And it's not really the trains that's not working, it's more that the wagons are so expensive. Like, why would I want to pay this much for a wagon that sure can makes 80 km an hour, but my trains are not quick enough. So it would be really helpful if there was uh, some kind of wagons that may be made 60 or 50 km an hour and that maybe cost like 25 or something like that K each year. Because this train is kind of useless, at least on hard, I'm not sure. Maybe the cost is okay on normal. Maybe. We'll be able to pay back here. Come on. This will give us 750. Thank you. But when we replace this train, we will not get that much left back. 800k out of 3 million. So. And here you can see the running cost increase 34%. I wonder if there is a way of playing that, like changing just the locomotive or changing just the wagons or something. I don't know. Is this the year? <gasps> oh yeah, we got the mogul, we got the mogul. Something to <laughs> get this guy to run into the depot. Uh, well, I guess he can take one more uh, victory lap here. So, let's connect Wacko with Colorado Springs. I would really like to replace this train first, though I'm not sure how much how much you can borrow. Can you see? Okay, like 10k or 8 million we can have. Three of these will go to the train. Well, let's see what we can do. So first we need a passenger station. Definitely a secondary connection. Something like this. I think is alright. Hmm. I'm thinking about. Yeah, I should go right. Because we really need to put it inside the city. Otherwise. Uh, we will have a really hard time getting people here. Okay to put it like that, but that will make it a pretty solid. Holy shit! 
four, seventeen thousand. Eight thousand, that's better, or nine thousand. And then we need to get this sucker up to join this train track. Pricey! Alright, and then we should. Focus on this section here. I want them to jump. Hmm. Yeah, this is the question. Do you want to double track things already? I was thinking to just uh, cross over, but I think we could just do a double track from the beginning. So let's have this. It will be pretty slow there, 61 I think it said. Road. Right, and then we need to make these guys go together because I don't have enough money to make it double tracked all the way. I think is fine. Mm. I'm thinking we are doing well here. Uh, 54 kilometers an hour. Something like this. 3k for signals, I guess that's a right. It's a fine price. Um, holy crap. Something like this should be alright. And if this signal might block the crossing, but right. it will take some time before we will make our money back on this passenger line, that's for sure. I like the western music. I wonder if this is only in USA you would get uh, kind of recognize the music. Um, yeah, we kind of need to start to turn here. But uh, between these two lines would be decent spots. Right. Uh, borrow. Borrow some, uh, some change. Mm. 
Yeah. Looks alright. Let's see. We were supposed to go on this side, I think. Um, terminal station. Mm. Not really, but uh, I don't. Terminal stations have such mu much better catchment area than these silly things. Damn it! Let's do it like that. They they can connect it later on. Need to have a decently steep corner here. Connect it! 400k. Yeah, I don't have that kind of money. Two hundred K, I don't have that kind of money. 43k, I, I kind of have that kind of money, that's fine. Connect a small street. Like that. Okay. That wasn't too bad. It was just like a couple of million. Alright, alright. And let's put down a good old train depot. Get the mogul, that's one million. Mm, yeah. Get one uh, car to start with. And let's go Colorado, Wacko, is Wacko a real place? I guess it is, but I have, it sounds pretty strange. I think I should have some kind of uh, cool color scheme, like maybe blue, if it's a passenger line. Not a whole lot of blue on this one, but... Anyways, uh, this line we need to... We can just use the replacement tool for this one because it's kind of old. So let's get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... I lost count. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do you want more than that? I mean, we have 40 on this one, but... Mm, let's get 13, I think, because it's going to be so much quicker. So replace that one, we will need 4 million in order to make that happen. Where's this train? Oh, quite quick, quite empty. Man, I really hope we have at least one passenger waiting. I will... I guess we can just borrow the money right now. We should be able to get there before before the next year, so we can repay whatever we need. Please change. 
please? Plus change tray. Nice. We pay. 8 million loan. Alright. Three passengers waiting. One good thing with having a passenger service is the fact that these guys will go to um, Colorado, but then they should want to get back as well, I hope. So, for every tri trip there will be more and more people that want to go back and forth. At least that's my plan. Um, you guys are not really red. Don't need to replace anymore. It actually has a hard time to reach top speed on this section. But it's still twice as fast as the other train, so might see a nice income here. I hope. Damn it almost almost able to pay back. We have some people waiting there, but anyways, this episode has been really long, even if I will fast forward quite a lot of it. Um, but it will be interesting to see if we can get this guy to be profitable. Otherwise, we are kind of screwed. However, we have this track that we can use for logs. Maybe. Mm. Ah, it will be fine. There are already passengers waiting. We might lose some money, but still, these these uh, locomotives are pretty cheap still uh, when compared to the wagons. So, but anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you again next time. Goodbye.